a masculine man desires a feminine woman. And the reality is that a lot of you ladies desire a masculine man. Now, some of you might be feeling like, well, there ain't that many going around anymore. <laughs> That's a whole other discussion. But the fact remains that you, as a woman, many of you are typically drawn to more masculine men. But part of the struggle in attracting that masculine man is answering the question, are you exuding your feminine energy? Are you leading with the energy that's going to draw to you the things that you desire and want in your life? And not just in the sense of that masculine man, but the overall quality of your life. Because femininity, again, is your power. It is your superpower. It is that thing that once you unlock it, you are going to see things get so much better. So I'm going to break down for you some of the, the feminine qualities and traits that men love in women. But again, understand that it's not just for them, it's for you. Now, but before I begin, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel so you can watch all my other videos. But number one on this list is being open and receptive. So what do I mean by that? When you are a woman walking in your feminine energy, you are open, open to love. You are able to receive compliments. You are able to allow a man to do for you. And that's a huge important point because so many women, so many of you struggle right now with letting a man do for you. And you don't understand how that doesn't exude femininity. All right. Being too caught up in your independence, being too walled up, because the reality is that letting him do for you requires you to be vulnerable. And many of you fear that vulnerability. You not only fear that vulnerability, hell, you may even fear femininity as a whole because to you, femininity may equate to weakness. Femininity equates to that's what got me hurt in the past. And so now you think by having that wall up, by I'll take care of it myself, by not having to rely on no man, I emotionally protect myself from being hurt and let down. But in actuality, you cause more damage. You add more stress to your life. And you don't allow your feminine energy to come out of you. Which, it not only repels the kind of man that you want, that masculine man, it draws in the man who will put the burden on your back. Who will leech off of you. Who don't, doesn't mind you being the one carrying all the stress and being overwhelmed because those men don't walk in their masculine energy. Now, I don't want to get too far off the point here. Let's get back to being open and receptive. That is a quality that the masculine man loves to see in a woman because you have to also understand that giving to you, providing for you, is something that a masculine man wants to do. And when you're not able to receive that, you essentially kill his ability to pour love, to pour desire, uh, to feel good about what he also brings to the table into your life. Because whether we want to accept it or not, everyone wants to feel needed and valued in a relationship. They want to feel needed and valued by that person they take interest in. And by not allowing him to pour into you in his way because you are not receptive, you kill that. You choke the life out of that. And again, you set yourself on the path to receive the type of men who will drain you rather than the men who will fill your cup and uplift you and take those burdens off your back. So embrace being more receptive. And it's not just being receptive to, again, him doing for you. It's being receptive to a man giving you a compliment. It's being receptive to love in general, being open to it. Many of you say you want love, but you're scared as hell of it. You are running from the hill for the hills when you see true love come your way because, again, that love requires vulnerability. And so let me add this. If you are struggling in this area, it starts with you healing. I mean, hell, to unlock your feminine energy as a whole, you've got to embrace healing. It is what is truly necessary in this process. And again, I want you to understand healing 
unlocking your femininity, it's not just about the men. I feel like I have to like stress that point so you understand this is for you first and foremost. But it will not just benefit you. Yes, it will benefit your ability to have this amazing relationship. It will benefit uh, if you have kids already. It will benefit how you engage with others around you. So be willing to embrace healing so that you can become more receptive so that you can start exuding more of your feminine energy. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here and I'll see you there. All right, so now the third attractive thing that tells a man you're classy is that you are selective and not desperate, all right? So it's never a good look when a 